Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn about Laravel polymorphic relationship. Imagine you have a social media app where users can create posts and comments. Each post and comment can have one or more photos attached to it. With polymorphic relationship, you can use a single photos table to store all the photos instead of having a separate table for each type of content. This makes the database design simpler and more efficient. Okay guys, so let's start by creating some tables. Let's say I will create a, a table for my company. Uh, with the name of company, I want migration and controller. I want to create one more table with the name of, for uh, example, product with migration and controller. S same. Now I, I will create the photos table. Let's create the photos table. So let's go to migration now migrations now we can see that all our tables have been created so now i will create here one column with the name of uh, the type could be string and i will the column name also should be name same for product string type string and name now, we want to create our column for uh, images. In, in here, we are going to create a column with the to store image name. I will, the name also should be name. And two columns I have, I will create. One should be string with transaction type. In this column, I am going to store the table name, for example, this image belongs to company table, another image is belongs to product table, or another image belongs to the user's table. Same, I have to store the ID of those tables, so I'm going to create an integer column with the name of transaction ID. That's it. Uh, we need these, uh, these two columns for our polymorphic relationship. So now let's go to photos model and create their relationships. So in our um, photos model, we have to create a method first for uh, public function transaction. And in here we have to write return this morph two and we have to do one more thing on top of our class we have to create the uh, map to our the map to our relationship because in database we are not going to store the full path of our model so I'm going to only store the table uh, the model name so for that reason I have to create a map morph map for that to create that we have to uh, call relation morph map inside here I, I will create an array and I will name it for example I will type user for my user model which is located in app backslash models and user same I will do for company which is stored in app models company and one more for my product Uh, 
so this is our photos model we have created one method the method uh, that handles the polymorphic relationship and the map that it if in our uh, table it's user then it will know this belongs to the user's model or if it's company it knows that it will is belongs to the company model and same for product so now let's uh, go to company model and product model in there we have also to create the relationship in there also okay so let's uh, go to our company model in here i will create a method with the name of photos and this will return return morph money and in here we will write photos class and our uh, method name i have uh, used here morph money because uh, it may happen that our company ha have multiple images stored same thing i am going to add this uh, to our my product model and also in my users method because both of them may have multiple images so now our uh, polymorphic relationship is ready and we can use it so now let's go to controller for example i will go to company controller and uh, test it there so in our con uh, company controller we are, i'm going to write a method uh, to get the data for example get data dollars um, companies okay i will i'm going to get company a uh, wet photo the same method that we wrote here yeah, same thing with photos okay let's just copy this uh, our company model which was here this one let's copy it go back to controller write it here and let's get okay let's return it and see if everything is working fine and also let's create a route for it let's copy this come here and write a route for example get data company controller class and this okay so we are going to get all the companies with their photos and let's see let's open the browser and enter so as you can see we can get all the company even uh, with their photos same thing if i go and get the product and check here refresh again let's see did we get the photo no this one no no okay let's write here at one more condition that bring only those we are as photos okay now let's refresh our page again so there may be a problem in our code let's go to photos model uh, and check uh, what is the problem ah in here we wrote products it's not product it's only product save let's save it and refresh the page again ah so we can see that uh, we got all our 
products which have photos. For example, this product, it has three photos. As we, if we see, we see its name and also here. So, uh, if we check our database, we see that uh, for so in our database if we want before a polymorphic relationship if we wanted to create a relationship for each for company i have to create it as some separate photos table for products separate tables for user separate table as we see with the help of polymorphic relationship we created only one photos table and uh, made a relation with that so it made our our database much easier and simpler to use it thanks a lot guys this is it hope you like the video please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel thanks a lot